Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to another training video. It is uh, it's Thursday right now. I'm on my way down to go train chess today and flying solo today. Taylor is training back today with two of her friends and since it's my chest day, I decided I'm gonna go down to EOS, which is the gym we were at in the last video that I posted. But the cool thing about that gym is it has a full outdoor section, as you guys saw, and it's super YouTube friendly, so I can just set my tripod up and there's not really anyone out there who's gonna tell me not to film. So this is my second chest day of the week. Right now I'm training chest twice a week, and this is more of my higher rep day. So uh, this is the first week where I'm getting back into like programming my training. So right now I have different training blocks that are a few weeks long, and each block has a different emphasis, and basically it all leads up to increasing strength and getting stronger. So you guys will see a little taste of my higher rep chest day. Uh, basically, I'm gonna put all like the clips together, probably like one or two sets from each exercise, and then I'm gonna do a voiceover um, as the video is playing, kind of explaining what I'm doing um, and why and all that stuff. So you guys will get some commentary, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys at the gym. Guys, welcome back to another voiceover. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm gonna start doing them more often. So here I am warming up my shoulders, doing a horizontal adduction abduction. So I kind of rushed through my warm up with these because it was pretty hot outside. So I kind of judge it based off how I'm feeling. I was already pretty warm, so now I'm doing circles, trying to open up my shoulder. So I did 10, 10 reps of each on each arm with this band and then with a smaller red band I did some uh, pronation supination just to warm my elbows up. I usually do these before bench and squat day. Um, keeps my elbows healthy so pain free. So as you can see I had it going over the top of my hand the first time and now I'm switching going under my hand. So I just did 10 reps each way on both arms. So here's my first bench set. Uh, my sets today were with 280 and I did three sets of 10. Now, as you can see, the sun is like totally blasting my face. So I'm actually really glad that I brought my sunglasses because normally I leave them in the truck. Um, but it was literally like right in the corner of my eye on this bench. And the other bench that they have here was in the shade, but it kind of sucks. So I use this one, it wasn't that bad. So last week was uh, 275 for sets of 10, and now this week was 280, so I'm gonna keep adding five pounds every week for probably another two, three weeks. Um, basically pretty much when I get stuck, and then from there I'll go down, I'll drop weight and go back up to 15 reps and keep building up that way. So my second exercise was incline uh, dumbbell chest press. I was gonna do incline barbell, but it was broken, so I did these, um, so I did three sets of these as well. So I did a heavy set of eight to 10 reps, and then I did a drop set using lighter weight <clears throat> for another eight to 10 reps. So as I said, I'm ch this is my higher rep day, so doing like a drop set like this is a good way to still get some heavy weight in while being able to do high reps at the same time. So, you know, each drop set is considered one set, so I'm getting close to about 15 to 20 reps per each set. <clears throat> So my next exercise was this decline hammer strength chest press. Um, I really like the decline hammer strength uh, chest machines as opposed to the other ones. You get a really good squeeze in your chest and it really opens it up good. So for this, I was gonna do three sets of 18 to 20, but uh, it ended up, I only was doing sets of 18. So just call that three sets of 18. Um, <clears throat> So as you guys can see, I'm only doing three sets for each exercise. Uh, right now I'm kind of keeping the volume low and the reps somewhat high. But as I start adding, as I start decreasing the reps and adding weight over the coming weeks, I'm gonna be adding in more volume as well. <clears throat> All right, moving on to my last chest exercise. I did standing cable chest flies. Finally got out of the sun and look at that lighting. That is aesthetic as fuck. Anyways, so for these I did five sets of 15. Uh, and when you're doing these, you really wanna focus on pulling your shoulder blades down. Um, that'll put your shoulders in a lot better position and it will, um, you'll activate your chest a lot more. So for these, so doing like slow and controlled reps, even though it's kinda of hard because these cables are really old and they're outside and they get rained on, so they're kinda of like uneven, sort of. All right, so that was my chest workout. Now it's on to triceps. So my first tricep exercise, I started with uh, lying 
dumbbell skull crushers. And I really like these because they work each tricep individually rather than when you're using a barbell. So for these, I did three sets of 15. And when you're doing these, you wanna focus on keeping your shoulder joint immobile. So you want all the movement to be on your elbows, not at your shoulders, because it's really easy to kind of like cheat and bring your arms back and that involves your lats. So you wanna keep it on your triceps, so keep your arms in one position. Next exercise was overhead uh, single dumbbell extensions. So I really like to include overhead um, tricep extension stuff in my workouts just because the triceps cross the shoulder joint as well as the elbow joint. So doing tricep movements when your shoulders are in different positions is gonna target the triceps a little differently. So it's really good for just overall tricep development. So for these, I did three sets of 15. Um, so going like slow control on the way down. And then here's my last tricep exercise. So for these, I did four sets of 20. Uh, this is the attachment that I actually got off Amazon. It's only like 15 bucks. And as you can see, I am not really holding onto the grips. I have my hands going through. Um, shout out to Nick Comedina for coming up with this. It's actually uh, really good for targeting triceps and getting rid of any forearm involvement. So as you guys can see, um, that was my full workout, pretty low volume. Uh, as I mentioned, I am gonna be increasing volume over the coming weeks. But if you guys did uh, like this video and you guys wanna learn more about how I set up my training and my diet, I am offering online training. So if you guys are interested, there'll be an email below where you guys can contact me. And if you did like the video, please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.